Hey everyone, I am in my kitchen today and I'm going to be doing a venison roast. This is about the most simple and traditional venison roast you can do. Um, my family loves it, I make it all the time and it's super easy. So um, today I got a ball roast here off of one of the deer I shot this year and I am going to start with that. So I'm going to salt and pepper this pretty generously. That might look like a lot of seasoning, but keep in mind this is a pretty big piece of meat and the seasoning is only touching the outside. So now what I need to do is I need to um, char this piece of meat. I normally like to do this on the grill or in a cast iron skillet, but today I'm just going to do it in a pot so that when I, the grease pops and splatters I don't get the stove all messy and my wife doesn't holler at me. So I'm going to char this piece of meat now. Alright, so we got our pot nice and hot here, a little bit of olive oil. This accomplishes two things. Uh, one, texture, having that nice charred edge around the outside really adds a lot of texture. And then two, it just adds a whole nother level um, of flavor to the meat. You don't have to do this, but I strongly recommend it. I think it makes, makes it taste a lot better and gives it that extra nice added um, texture. Alrighty, now our piece of meat has a nice char on the outside. Um, again, this is a ball roast off of a, a deer that I shot last year. so. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice layer of onions in the bottom of the crock pot just to get the um, meat sitting up off the bottom a little bit. Alright, now that i got a nice layer of onions on the bottom of this crock pot, I'm going to put this piece of meat that's got this nice crust on it in here. Now this obviously isn't cooked. Now with this particular recipe, I, I like it um, to have a lot of juice. It almost turns actually into more of like a stew or a venison soup. Um, the way I do it, that's just the way my family likes to make it. So, um, and I add the veggies in right now. Um, a lot of people like to wait for the last hour. The way I do it, this just always works for me. They don't get too soft and mushy. The, um, the veggies stay fine. So, I'm going to add in, I cubed up a couple um, potatoes. So, I'm going to add those in here. Then a couple carrots. A lot of times, I mean, I like to put celery and other things in here. Um, you can do whatever veggies you like, and then I'm going to add some more onions on top. I got all my veggies in there. Now I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom or cream of onion or anything like that. Now I got just some store-bought beef stock. Um, wish I had some venison stock, but I don't. This will do just fine though. And I'm going to add enough to where I can start to see it around the meat, probably half of this box. Okay, I actually ended up just using the whole box. That brought it to about sitting halfway, um, halfway up on top of the meat. Now I'm going to add some Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you want to say it, you know what this stuff is. Just a couple squirts of that. All right, now what I have here um, is some onion soup mix. Super common at the store. Again, this is a super, super simple recipe, um, but it just works every single time. It's always good, my family loves it. So I'm gonna add a bag of this onion mix. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna set this thing to high and let this go for about four to five hours. I mean, really all this recipe requires of you is a little bit of time. The prep was like 10 minutes, super cheap to make, super easy. Um, I made this exact recipe with a bear roast two weeks ago, and it was delicious. It's actually probably the best roast I've ever had. Um, again, this is, ends up being really, um, has a lot of broth to it, so it turns into more of a stew or a, a venison, you know, vegetable soup. But it's, it's really, really good. And as this starts to cook and break down and the juices start to break down and stuff, I'm going to stir it up a couple times. Um, and then when the meat is cooked, I will either, depending on what kind of roast you have, this one, the ball roast, tends to get a little bit more tense as it cooks. So I'll pull it out and either shred it or cut it up into small pieces and then mix it without, you know, within the broth. Um, and it just ends up being really good. So I'm going to let this go for a couple hours. My family will be home um, by the time it's done. And this is what we'll have for dinner. So um, we'll see what it turns out, how it turns out. 
All right, it's all finished up now. My only taste tester was Dessa, whoop, who's just learned <laughs> to walk and just fell there. Um, but it's good as normal. Jaden said he's not hungry. Um, so I guess he won't be eating this tonight, but I also made some of this non-garlic bread um, to go with it. So um, thanks for watching. Try this recipe out. I really enjoy it. My family likes it and it's super easy. That's a lot of venison for one bite. Ha, 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 ha.